Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Police say an Eritrean man mistakenly shot and then beaten by a crowd in Beersheba has died. They say a security guard fired at the man because he thought he was an accomplice of an attacker at a bus station. In that attack, it's reported that a man armed with a gun and a knife killed an Israeli soldier and wounded 10 other people at the station before he was shot. Police have identified him as an Arab-Israeli citizen, Mohammed al-Akabi. Violence in the past two weeks has killed at least 44 Palestinians and eight Israelis. German Chancellor Angela Merkel says she supports the EU's joint action plan with Turkey to solve the refugee crisis. Merkel also said Germany is ready to restart negotiations about Ankara's EU membership. Last week, European Union leaders offered Turkey a possible $3.4 billion in aid. The bloc may also grant Turkish citizen entry into the EU's visa-free Schengen zone. But to secure this, Turkey must keep the refugees within its borders. Germany has said it expects to take up to 1 million refugees this year. But members of Merkel's Christian Democratic Union have criticised her for welcoming refugees to the country. Uh, to be able to try to avoid um, the uh, complete and total destruction of uh, Syria. US Secretary of State John Kerry says the United States is working to avoid the total destruction of Syria. He added that the US plans a meeting in the next few days with Russian, Saudi and Turkish leaders. Kerry voiced his concerns for the people of Syria who end up as refugees. He added he also fears that Russia is seeking to strengthen Bashar al-Assad. He also warned that Russia's air campaigns might attract more jihadis to the fight. President Nicolas Maduro says he hopes lawmakers will prosecute the head of Venezuela's largest private company and billionaire businessman Lorenzo Mendoza. Maduro accuses Mendoza of selling the country to the IMF and believes that a private phone call leaked by state media is evidence he's conspiring against the country. But Mendoza says the phone call was part of a regular discussion he has with economists abroad. Venezuela suffers from a recession, a collapsed currency, product shortages and the highest inflation in the world. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com Istanbul.